Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this beautiful Monday, right? Let's do the Instagram story right away. Hola, Pep, ¿qué tal? Buenas. And then we're gonna head into the workout. So, historia. Historia. So. Enlace YouTube. ¿Por qué no funciona? Uh, no funciona. Good morning, Gregory. Welcome. I'm just trying to do the Instagram story here. I don't know why. Okay, now it works. Oh, it doesn't work. Why not? Empezamos desde nuevo. Let's start again. It doesn't didn't work. So let's see if it's working now. Um, I don't know why it wouldn't work. Okay, now it works. Live now. Why is that like the music doesn't have like sound? I don't like that. So, okay, let's change. Let's quickly change the music, guys. Because, okay, Pretzel Rock today is not. Or at the moment, it's not. Let's listen to. Not that. Well, let's see the uh, oh no, the last the last <sighs> Let's do this. Oi. So today we're gonna do you heard your Achilles tendons from running? Oh no. Oh no. Well if it's like actually like like hurt, if it's badly hurt, you should like for sure talk to a physician because yeah, I'm not I'm neither a doctor nor a physiotherapist. So you should be careful with those things. Um but yeah, good things is always like friends, as I'd say, like to, like when you like lift one heel and then the other, just to gently to see how that feels and to gently rotate your ankle and stuff. I would start it with that and see how that feels. But actually, I don't have any experience with like, uh, with uh, Achilles tendons. Like I never had issues with that. So, so you might want to like talk to physician or something or like a physiotherapist but I would start like gently moving it to see how it how it hurts and if it hurts in all the directions but yeah better talk to some like to professional because like if it's like actually like if it's kind of I think it's sprained right if it's sprained or something then you might you might need some days of rest so Let's drink some tea, guys. Well, the only thing that I'd say is like, don't put too much load on it. Like, don't do exercises with like weights for the leg for the moment, at least. Like, like weighted squats or something. I wouldn't do that. So. Let's start with a warm-up. 
We will need the chair today for the workout, by the way. Let's take a look it. Um, my dumbbells are not here yet, right? I was waiting the other way around. I was waiting for them. Rotate your, oh, rotate your shoulders, rotate your shoulders. Roll your shoulders, roll, roll, roll. Let's see if they get here this week, the other way around. Would be nice to have them, right? I was like looking forward to getting them Friday, but yeah, still not here. But my phone arrived on Saturday, Sunday, so yeah, I'm about like, at the moment I'm like kind of configuring my new phone. Let's do a step tap. I always hate setting up a new phone, right? It's like so annoying. I mean, actually, like nowadays it's super quick and easy because you can just like load your like uh, presets from your like uh, Google account or like if you're an if you're an iPhone user from like your iPhone account, however that's called. <laughs> Apple ID. It's called Apple ID. <laughs> Took me a while to remember that. Um, yeah. Well, I'm an Android girl, so I have Google. Um, and. Actually, it's not so hard to change it, but still, it's kind of a pain in the ass because there's some apps that I have like to check if like if they're uh, if I if I have them installed and if I have them correctly activated and stuff. So yeah, I think it will take me like three or four days to get that all done. I mean, I could do it like all in one day at the arms here, like pulling back. I could do all of that in one day, but like, why bother? Like, I don't. I'm not in a hurry. The important thing is that my Google account is on there, so uh, I can like check my YouTube videos, right? Okay, now stand here. Let's circle those arms back. And yeah, it's just gonna be half an hour of cardio, all the way around. And then we're gonna do a full body workout, doing all the nice single leg things. Let's swing one arm back, one and then the other. So the squid, the, the, the pistol squat, the shrimp squat, the wannabe single hand pull ups, and the single hand push ups, and yeah, all the other nice stuff. Ooh. <sighs> so, I think this is enough of a warm up, right? It's not much, but. The next moves are gonna be kind of a warm up as well. Let's get into the cardio session. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start the. I'm gonna start the cardio. And then the timer. We're gonna use the one minute timer here. And we march in place. First minute, just marching in place. And maybe you want to get the chair set up so you can use it, right? Because you're going to do chair stuff, like I said. And march, guys. March, march, march. I hope you'll have a good start into that new week, right? Last week went by so fast. And yesterday, the day, like, I don't know, it was like, I, I felt like I got up and then it was like 7 in the evening. Although I got up at like, I don't know, 8, 9, something like that. I think at 8. 8.30, whatever. Well, anyway. Okay, guys. Next thing. First thing, we're going to tap the chair, right? We're going to do a tap and a tap. Wait. Not so hard, actually, but yeah, we don't have to start out hard, right? It's so hot here. I mean, it's, it's, I think it's 29 degrees or something, but it feels way hotter. And yeah, let's see how that turns out. You're going to get a good sweat these weeks, every day, even without doing a lot. I'm looking forward to getting those dumbbells. I want to do like some dumbbell work even like the split squats that we do on the chair with the dumbbells that would be more fun this squat is what's coming up next by the way guys ah, ah. 
Yeah, we're not gonna jump a lot hot today, guys. Yeah, because it's so hot. I mean, maybe it's not hot where you're at, but it's hot where I'm at. So, one foot up there, and you could like tuck your toe, but you could like have your have your uh, the top of your foot flat on the on the chair as well. Glutes are squeezed at all times, and our hips are square, up and down, and don't forget to breathe. Woo! Oi. 30 seconds. And you don't have to go super low here. We're just like warming up. I mean, we're already the cardio phase, but it's a cardio part. It's like another strength session, so it doesn't, you don't have to go all the way down to the floor. It's more about, uh, about keep moving. About to keep moving, about to keep moving, right? Up. And up. Five, four, three, two, one, switch sides, and let's go, oh my gosh, guys, I'm so sweaty, I think this week I have to take out the braids, I'm so sad, I got so attached to them, although, also, whoo, also it's a pain in the ass to, to take them out, this also takes four hours or something, because like since you're braided into the hair, I have to cut them open and then I have to like open up each braid. Very annoying, but well, that's just like, that's just what it is. Woo. And 20 seconds to go. Oh my, I do feel my quad there. What did I do yesterday? Did I work out my quads? I don't think so, but still there. They feel kind of sore. Four, three, two, one. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do is dips. So you come onto the chair. You could do the dips here. You can do them with your legs straight, but like this is okay for the moment, right? We're taking it slow. Arms go back. They don't flare out. And up and down. Up and down. No need to rush anything with these temperatures, guys. Right? Just keep on moving, pushing. Uh, 20 seconds to go with that move. Up. Up. And down. And down, yes. Nice. Push through, guys. Don't give up. Just a few more seconds, then we're done with that one. Okay. So, one foot up. We start with one leg, knee, and down. This time we don't take a step back. We usually take a step back, but today we're staying up on the chair with that foot, with that other leg at all times, pulling up and back. And pulling up and back and you can always choose your own pace right if you want to go faster you can go faster if you feel like doing this slower go slower if you want to take it up a notch you could even add ankle weights or weights in your hands right this is what we're going to do when we have the weights we're going to do some of these exercises holding the weights in our hands so that our legs get a higher bigger load right Looking forward to that. And let's switch sides. Whew. Other side now. Don't forget to breathe. And whenever you're thirsty, drink something. It's super important to stay hydrated, especially these days that are so sweaty. Well, maybe you're on the south half of the globe and then it's winter for you, but well, if you're somewhere where it's hot, uh, be sure, make sure to drink enough every day. Fifteen seconds to go. Uh, woo. And yeah, don't forget to hit like and subscribe guys right 
I really appreciate that. You can really support me with that, with watching you already support me. But if you subscribe, even better. Let's do scapular push-ups on you. So we come here and do plank pose, and then we bring our scapulas together and apart. So the elbows are not moving, right? We're just making space in between our shoulder blades and then bringing those shoulder blades together. And I know this can burn really, really bad. It's harder than it looks because we're moving those small muscles that we don't usually move alone. Usually this is like part of a bigger movement and then they get some rest and right now they don't. So this is why this might be harder than you expect it to be. But it's very good for your posture, for your shoulders. Oh, guys, it's so hot. Woo. Okay, grab the towel if you have, if you need one, grab a towel. Put it on the chair. We're gonna do the loop bridges here. So, first of all, we're gonna do them this way around. So, uh, with our upper back on the chair and then up and down with that bum, trying to create a more or less straight line from shoulders to knees here, pushing up down and up and like this is actually a bit easier than on the floor i'd say because yeah you're you don't have to lift your butt higher than your shoulders oh well this is the nice thing about the chair right it is uh you can use it to make an exercise harder but it can also make an exercise easier depending on how you use it i hope you're getting a good sweat i am I'm sweating a lot already. Okay, now let's stay up on our highest point and pulse up, guys, right? Pulse up. Your glutes are squeezed at all times now. Bounce, not bounce, pulse. Pulse up, right? Also, this exercise, apart from like being good for a bum, it's good for a lower back, by the way, guys, right? And also glutes are supporting a lower back, so very good exercise. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Just a few more seconds, then we're gonna flip it around. We're gonna put those feet up here on the chair and our uh, shoulders are gonna be on the floor and then it's gonna be harder than if we just do it on the floor. Up and up. Oh yes. Don't forget you smile. Okay, uh, and let's flip it around, flippity flip. Uh, oh, like this, I can see how how I'm already like drenched in sweat. So crazy, but well, it's the temperatures. It's not so much the exercises that I'm doing. I mean, it's the ex exercise and the temperatures together, right? It's the combination of both of them. We'll be back one day. Oh yeah. Up and down. Don't ever put the weight completely on the floor, right? Your bum might be like tapping the floor slightly, but you don't put the weight down. You're pushing up again. And right now I cannot read the chat, but I'm gonna read it once I'm up again, right? Push through guys. Now let's stay on highest point and pulse it like we did the other way around, right? Pulse it up, up, up. Oh yes, so good. And breathe. After that, we're gonna drink something. So we march in place or jock in place, whatever you want of the two things for one minute. And we hydrate all together. If you've already hydrated in between, you could hydrate again or you just don't up to you make this your workout right adjust the workout to your needs make it harder make it easier do it slower do it faster whatever you feel is adequate for you we're all different so we should all like adjust the workout to our needs 10 seconds and then we're gonna get up push push 
Hur. Uh, uh. March in place, guys. March in place. Drink something. Uh. And if you feel like it, maybe jack in place. But yeah, just if you feel like it, right? Ah. Uh. It's okay to do everything low impact, as always. I say that every time, and I'm gonna say it every time because there's new people around and they might not know. <sighs> the next thing we're gonna do is a Copenhagen plank. You're gonna hold the plank for 45 seconds. I'm gonna explain how to do it. So, what we do here, we come into a forearm plank down here. Right, and at the at the 40, when, when 45 seconds starts, we're gonna hold it. Um, into a forearm plank, elbow underneath your shoulder, one leg up here, and the other leg down, and like that. We hold it, this is very hard. This is pretty hard. Make sure that your chest is parallel to the front, that your shoulders are away from your ears, and you might pull the leg in, then it's gonna be a bit easier, but if you have the leg out there, then it's extra hard. Right? Push through, guys. 23 seconds to go. This is super hard. This is not just good for our abs. This is also good for our legs, right? You should feel that in your inner thigh. Oh, guys. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Down. We have the other side. Good morning, welcome, how are you going? I'm going to flip around, I'm not going to be able to read the chat, so same thing here, arm underneath shoulders, and we start now, up here again, leg straight if you want, it's really hard, if you don't want it that hard, pull that leg in and just hold it, chest is parallel to the back of the room now, depending on where you're looking, um, but yes, yeah, parallel, we're not turned in, you can have that arm over here, up here at your side. Just make sure that your shoulders are away from uh, your ears so you don't slouch because we don't want a bad posture, right? That's gonna hurt us. Oh God, I'm so, I'm, I'm drenched in sweat. My, my arms are so wet. Oh, oh gosh. This is so hard, guys. When is it over? <sighs> ah. Ah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Jog a bit. Jog a bit. Ah. And maybe you have to put a towel onto the floor. Good morning, Jonas. So, we jog in place again. Ah. Think like a pro and always positive. I like that one. I like that one. Ah. Braucht ihr einigen immer noch auf dem Nylon seinen schönen Frauenbein? Weiß, woher soll ich das wissen? Ja? Ich, bin ja, ich bin ja kein Mann, der auf dem Nylon seinen Frauenbein steht. <lacht> naja, wie man halt alle Sachen schön findet, oder? Die man so schön findet. Let's jog, guys. Or march in place if you don't want to jog, right? Many ways to work here. We're gonna do push-ups on the chair they're gonna be easier than normal push-ups right because we don't like incline so this is a good way to train your push-ups if you struggle with them on the floor ah, so hard anyway it's hard because it's so hot oh my gosh i'm so wet 30 seconds to go with that exercise. I hope you're doing great, Animal Face, by the way. Having a coffee, bringing coffee. Oh, I know, Pep brought the coffee today. I oh, know, you brought the coffee and Pep also. So we have too much coffee today, right? Both of you bringing coffee. <laughs> 
Five seconds. Oof. Okay. Next exercise. Okay. Uh, first of all, the towel away. Next exercise. You're gonna tap the chair again. Tap, tap, tap. Just keep moving, right? Keep moving. After that, we're gonna do the exercise where we hold onto the chair, we lift our bum up to the back. I was about to start it right now, but since I was too slow, I didn't want it to be like less than a minute. You're well, drinking coffee. Nice, yeah, I'm well too. I had my tea already. It's super hot, it's nice. And um, yeah, let the brief begin. 20 seconds to go. We can add those arms, right? Like this. Five, five, four, three, two, two, oh, I'm too fast. One. Okay, come onto the chair. Straight back. And then lift one leg back here, all the way up and down. The hips are square. Wait. Make sure not to hit something behind your hips are square. The foot is fairly pointed. And we lift the leg up and down. Oh, up and down. All right, so, so sweaty. I'm so sweaty and it's nice. 30 seconds to go and then we're gonna pulse it up there. Almost 20 minutes into the warm-up, guys, so not much more to do here. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the chair after those exercises would be the last exercise without the chair, by the way. Up. Up. Leave the foot up there. The uh, steady leg can have a micro band in it, and we're pulsing up here, right? Foot is still kind of straight, kind of pointed, if you can. If it gets crampy or something, you can flex it as well, right? Don't worry too much about that. And pull up here, pull up. Don't forget to breathe. It's so hot, it's so hot, guys. Up, up, up. And we have 25 seconds to go. And we are 20 minutes into the cardio profession. Now it's 20 minutes. Ah, I just have some pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. 10 seconds and then the other side. Make sure that your hips are still square, right? Your hips are not turned out. Two, one, and the other side. Up and down. Up. And down. Up. And down. Right, so good. Ah. This side feels like a relief now after we did two minutes on the other side. It's so good to change sides, right? Bon dia, Marquis. Get all up. And up. make sure not to turn out. I know after a while I always tend to turn out or to like my hips, they like do it. They cheat. They cheat. And then I have to correct them. Up. Up. About 15 seconds to go, and then we keep that like up there. Hold. Oh, yes. Up. Up. And let's leave it out there and pulse. After that, we ditch the chair, guys. So, last chair exercise here. Micro bend in the standing leg. Hips are not turned out. Both hip bones are parallel. Oh, Mauti! ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás, bonita? You gonna check it down? Okay, it looks right. Geh ins Klo, Mauti! Geh ins Klo! Okay, now she's not good. Now she's... Oh, hi, Sterling! Thank you for the super chat! Woohoo! Geh ins Klo, Mauti. Geh ins Klo. 
Double exclamation mark, double exclamation mark, mark. double exclamation mark, yin yang yawning face. Yin yang yawning face. No, I scared her. Okay, away with the chair. Thank you so much for the super chat, Sorry. So, next exercise. We come here into an inchworm. We walk out. And if we want to, we do a push up or we don't, right? I'm so sorry, Mouthy. I got, I got, that was too hard on you. I have to check her if she's going to the, into the rest. Okay, yes, yeah, she's in the, she's in the little box. She's a good kitty. She's a good kitty. And the next thing we're going to do is alternating side planks, still with a push-up in between. So, uh, yeah. Now on the next one, you can just stay down there and alternate those side planks. One, down, push-up, other side. If you don't feel like doing the push-up, no problem. You can just uh, stay in the high plank. After that set, I'm going to pause the cardio session for a moment to get rid of the mouthy poop, right? To clean the litter box, because if not, it's going to be very stinky here. That's a fine mouthy. seconds to go guys <sighs> okay I'm gonna pause I'm gonna pause the timer uh, you can march in place right march in place I'm gonna take care of the kitties poop and I'll be back in a sec that's <laughs> so stinky first things first when you're hurt that's the worst yeah tainted minds like a curse to be in a Okay, guys. Ready? Next thing we're gonna do, I don't know, Iro. We're gonna do jumping jacks, right? You can either do them low impact like this or you do them high impact with me. Up to you. Don't push yourself too hard if it's hot, right? If you don't feel like jumping, it's totally legit to do the low impact version but then it's all oh, it's just like 30 seconds of cardio eh, 30 seconds 30 minutes of cardio so you might want to push yourself a little bit mir geht's super und dir Woo. jump jump let's go guys Woo. 15 seconds almost done with this uh high impact move auch gut super five Four, three, two, one. Okay, guys, now you're gonna do a squat and a side lift. Squat and a side lift. And the important thing here, when we do squats, always is to have the weight back in the heels, hinge forward with a straight back, and your knees are aligned with your toes, right? So you don't injure your knees. And then you can go lower, you can go higher, you can have a wider stance, a narrower stance. It's like completely up to you. Up to your gusto. But make sure to, yeah, hinge forward, have a straight back, have the weight in your heels, and have those knees aligned with the toes. Oh yeah, and when you get up, you don't want to lock your knees, 
but you're trying to squeeze those glutes, right? And to the side. We stick with those squats, but we change uh, what we do with the legs afterwards. So we do a squat and then a high knee and a squat and high knee on the other side, right? Squat and high knee. I'm looking forward to doing those with the dumbbells once they arrive, the heavier dumbbells. Right, we can make them like 10 kilogram each. So we can do these workouts with 20 kilograms of additional weight, with which, which will probably be too much for the beginning. Oh well, we can work our way up there, right? Progress. Down. And 15 seconds to go with that exercise. And oh, I didn't stop the to start the timer. I'm sorry I cheated you guys. So I think I think it's just five minutes to go to for the end of the cardio session. If it's not, I'm sorry. March in place or to run in place to hydrate. So we gotta do five more minutes here because I missed up the timer. Sorry. So either jogging here right or marching up to you up to you <sighs> it's nice to do a little bit high impact stuff as well like not super high impact but a little bit right next thing we're gonna do we're gonna do puppy variation puppy variations and as always you can do the high impact you can do the low impact you can do the push-up or you don't, right? Make this your workout. Okay, the low impact version. Down, step back, step back, do a push up or don't. Front, front. The high impact version. Down, jump back, push up, and to the front, right? Choose your version or alternate in between the two right you could you could be stepping back in one rep and the other rep jump back up and as you can see i'm taking my time here right i'm not pushing myself too hard i'm just i'm just rolling <sighs> We have 10 more seconds of those. We're gonna stick with the burpee versions here. Variation. We're gonna make it an Navy seal if you want to. You either stick with the one you've been doing right now or you do the Navy seal. I'm showing you, right? So, you come down, you do push up, push up, pull one knee leg in, push up, pull the other leg in, and push up. And to the front, right? This is it. Jump back, pull one leg in, pull the other in. And this is really hard. I'm gonna stop talking all the time right now for the next 30 seconds. Oh, guys. One more, one more because I say so. Step oh. oh. tap. Oh. Try clapping your hands. Just clapping your hands? Like doing a push up and then clapping my hands or what do you mean? Comienza a ser horrible. Oh no, qué mal. Bueno, a lo mejor si el comienzo ya horrible, a lo mejor va mejorando. Bueno, si ya está muy abajo, a lo mejor. 
and stand up and we're gonna try that so you can we try that so now for the next part if you feel like it just do a leg curl so I just do a leg curl and I'm gonna try the push-up thing high basic yoga instinct welcome so uh so what you saying This? Okay. And uh, Okay, we're gonna do that again. Everyone who wants to, the other ones just stick with your... We're like actually done with the cardio, by the way, guys, right? Because I was cheating on you with three minutes. Like I've, I didn't put the timer back on. And we're gonna do that again. Or oh, I am gonna do that again. Okay, run and we're done guys, we're done with the cardio. So, give yourself a pat on the shoulder, um, it's workout time, worky worky workout time. <sighs> So, since we worked or we worked our arms right now right we're gonna we're gonna work our legs a little bit we're gonna do the shrimp squats and the pistol squats for everyone who doesn't know what that is or cannot do that uh, these are single single leg squats so when you do a single leg squat uh, when you don't know how to do a single leg squat what you can do here is one leg one leg it's like tapping the floor most of the weight on the other leg and you do the squats here right or yeah we can add that more often this is fun actually or another vision for example that you could do for those single legs you could do single leg down onto a chair so you don't have to worry to fall and single leg up again with a chair right this is a good thing for beginners right if you're a beginner and you still have the chair around, grab that chair and do that with a chair. For all the other ones, you remember, we've been trying to do the, uh, the, the pistol squat actually with the leg in front and we're gonna stick with that. So this is what we're gonna do first. I'm gonna do two, two reps or three maybe with the leg in front because I've been doing five reps, but five reps kind of cheated because I've been moving my, my leg around too much so what we do now is we go down with the leg always in front after that we do the shrimp squat where the leg is always back so two or three reps uh, if you're a beginner grab the chair or do the ones where your leg is slightly on the floor and let's do this one legs are still in front nice Leg is still in front. Can we do a third one with the leg in front? Maybe we can. Oh, this is so hard to leave that leg there. I tell you. I have to do the other side. I'm so... But can you see that? Can you see how sweaty I am? Everything's wet. Girls <laughs> can't sweat, they glow. <laughs> And pole dancing and pole it means because like we have those panties on those pants those shorts that have glitter on them and then here we always have like the running gag that we say because like that we have like like glitter on the floor and we're like oh we're sweating we're sweating glitter <laughs> okay so guys other side right the other side let's see if we can do three 
important we want to leave that leg in front and again if you're a beginner you're doing that on the chair or you're doing these right Breathe. Leg stays in front. Ah, okay. Oh, my back just hurt it there. Okay, maybe I cannot do that side now. Ah, my back. I have back pain. Let's, uh, that's weird. Let's see if I can do assisted one. Okay, well, uh, I cannot do the other side right now. <laughs> I have back pain. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know how that how that happened. Um, sometimes it does. Sometimes it does. So, uh, so then we just we gotta do the single leg squats later. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'd be sorry uh what what else were we going to do oh yeah let's do the single leg pull-ups then like right the pull-ups is always a nice thing where our backs can like our lower backs can relax so uh what we do here we don't need the towel and we don't need the ball we don't need to if you don't have if you don't have um if you don't have a power tower or a pull-up bar you could do down dog pull-ups right you hear the down dog right down dog push-ups and then you up go up and down right up and down like this <sighs> let's just stretch. oh this feels so good for my back right now let's just stretch it on my backs a bit here in a down dog where our arms are aligned with our back or like our bum is up there legs are they can be straight and the heels on the floor or you do prances like you're doing like you're paddling it out lifting one heel on the floor and then the other one whatever feels right like right? whatever feels good right now you could come into wider stance as well oh. from here you could shift to a plank into cobra pose Hold it. Shoulders away from ears. And since we're here, let's stretch the tops of our feet a little bit. So we push up on the tops of our feet. Up there again. If we can, you could come closer here. Everything is so wet. The whole floor is super wet. Okay, so like I said, if you want to, you could do the push-ups on the floor. Um, the push-up, the pull-ups on the floor. If you have a pull-up bar, we're gonna do them on the pull-up bar. Here we are, right? Can you see that? Yes, there. Okay, there it is. Very nice. So, uh, first of all, let's just hang there and do some shoulder shrugs right the shoulder shrugs are also nice to like uh to uncompress our spine to decompress our spine right and it's hanging here and then we pull up but just like with the shoulders pull 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 and everything else is hanging shrugging our shoulders while we hang here move from side to side up again so, okay, now the single leg, the single hand uh, pull up. If you can do them single handedly, you can do them like completely single handedly. Um, if not, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use one arm and two fingers because we're trying to do that, right? And yeah, yeah, that's it. That's what we got. Oh my God, like everything's full of sweat. I have to put the towel down there again, I think. Yeah. 
I guess we're going to do a lot of back exercises today instead of doing the single arm and single leg stuff. <laughs> oh, it's always a good reminder that we have to strengthen our backs when I feel like something like that coming up. So we do the first side. I'm going to do two or three reps. You can do as many reps as you want. And you could also do normal pull-ups. You do normal pull-ups, the important thing is like to pull all the way up and all the way down. I want you to chin on over the bar. Um, you could do the wide grip ones, which are harder, the narrow grip ones. And all the ones, chin up ones, neutral grip, whatever. Or do the one hand and two finger with me. So. One hand, two finger. Hanging. And one. Two, three. Ah. Ah. Hard, hard. Oh. <laughs> yes, I am. I am an animal. Urgh. Nice pull ups. Yeah, not good. Working on them. We got to do probably more arms and legs and um, arms and core stuff now that I feel like my. It's so sad that we cannot do those single legs. I want to do the shrimp squats as well, but well. Better be safe than sorry, I always say. I always have to be careful with my lower back because like I had a. I had problems with that. Hi, Tyler, welcome. So. Other side. But pull ups are a great thing because with pull ups, uh, I would like to dry my hands on my clothes, but that's not possible. Wait a I have to, I have to have that here because I was trying to dry my hands on my pants, but this is so sweaty and wet, so I'll leave that towel here. Okay. Other side, guys. One hand and two fingers. Oh, it's sliding, almost sliding down there. Oh. As always, we're gonna do, we're gonna do three, or well, not as always, but often we do three sets each side. That's what we do here, what we do here too. But next one, I'm just going to attempt to do two reps. Right, because the last rep. Did your abs always have the fish? No, they did not. They did not. <sighs> I developed them over time, yes. And it depends. Some days you can see them better, some days don't. Sometimes you're bloated, you don't see them. And yeah, it took some time. And also, like, I have like, I like, but with weight, like, I'm going up and down, then I weigh like four kilograms more, four kilograms less. And if I'm getting fatter, then you don't see them so well. So it's like, yeah, it's, uh, it's time. Maybe one day in my in Discord or somewhere, I will like post an old photo of me when I'm when I was chubby, <laughs> and then you see that I well, didn't have abs. I had I had a belly. <laughs> so you can, everyone can. Not every, but well, technically everyone can get abs. For some people it's easier, for some people it's harder because some people tend like to to store more fat close to their belly, so then it's harder to make, to, to get the, the apps defined, because I mean, the apps are there, but to see them is one thing. I'm doing a lot of planks for that, and, um, and, how it's called, planks, and then I like to do um, exercises with the power tower for the legs as well. other side and then it's like a lot about eating like if you if you put on 
if I put on four kilograms again, you won't see my abs because like I put it on right on my on my belly. So okay, first side again, right? You're going to have apples. Oh, nice! It sounds yummy. I did. I baked some really nice cookies yesterday. I filmed everything. And I'm gonna make a video about it and I'm gonna show you guys, so... Okay, one hand, two fingers are on. Two reps, just two reps here. I think we're gonna do a lot of pull-ups today. Maybe I have to change the text of the stream because we're not going to do the single leg uh, squat. Other side is coming up, right? Give yourself always some time to rest in between. Whew. Make sure that your hands are nice and dry before you attempt to get up there, because if they slide, if they're slippery, then they're slippery. Left side, again. So, one hand, two fingers. Which fingers am I using, by the way, are these two? <laughs> one. Two. <sighs> so, let's do some stuff for our legs while we're waiting. And for like four back and for leg. So what we can do here is we stand here, right? Hips are square. We can hold on to something we don't have to. One leg goes back and then we pulse that leg up for ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the other side, and I know it's not much. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But these exercises are pretty good for a bum, for a lower back. So that's why we do them. Last set. Right? We start on a raid, then we do the left, and then we do some other stuff. Some other stuff for the arms and the abs. And well, for the legs as well, but with the legs, we'll probably do them on the floor now. Since I don't want to do the single leg stuff today, we're going to do that tomorrow again. Hopefully, hopefully. But I guess we will. So, um, let's hang here. And one. And two. Uh. Woo. Other side, one hand, two fingers, one hand, two fingers. <sighs> one hand, two fingers. Two reps. One. Two. Ooh. Oh. Okay, we're going to do another three set. Another three set of another exercise. Also for uh, um, for pull-ups, and what we're going to do, we're going to do three pull-ups, but we're going to have our legs tucked in. So if you don't have the pull-up bar, you can still do the down dog push-ups on the floor. If you do have the pull-up bar, do the pull-up bar and tuck your legs in. If it's too hard to tuck your legs in, you can just do normal pull-ups or just do one or just do a negative climbing up to your highest point to let yourself slowly down. Right? There's many ways to do this, and yeah. 
But if you're up to it, let's tuck those legs. Try finger each hand. Oh, two fingers each hand. I didn't try that. I just tried one hand and two fingers, but this would be fun too. Right? Two fingers only. I don't know if I'll be able to do that. Probably not. Probably not. Two fingers on each hand. Woo! I'm sliding down. <laughs> but it didn't work. But I was like, when I was going down, I was like, oh no, no, my fingers are sliding, they're sliding. <laughs> well, it worked. So now let's do the normal ones, whatever grip you want, with the legs tucked. Three reps, right? Working those eyes. Hi. Hanging here. Tuck. Uh, one. Two. Oh wow, it's really hard after what we did before. Oh. I didn't get my chin on top over the bar there, but well. <sighs> hard, hard. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break, guys. Mm. I'll be right back. I'm gonna run an app break because I won't be here. Um, but yeah, you won't be missing anything because I won't be here. Take a bathroom break too. Maybe get something to drink. And then when I'm back, we're gonna do two more sets. Don't forget to like and hit subscribe or other way around. I'm very grateful for any kind of support. So, two more sets. Get the Let's go. And we hang here. We tuck those knees. So oh, we do three reps if we can. One. Two. Oh. One more set of pull-ups and then we're done with pull-ups for today.
taking potions and we ain't got nothing to hide. We move forward like soldiers, you better wake up for the Just trying to catch a breath, right? Last set of pull-ups, guys. We can do that. Yes, we can. No, we're almost on it. Let's hang here. Tuck those knees and let's go. One. Two. Well, the third one wasn't really good, but well, doesn't matter. So we change, we turn the cam again. So, there we go. Now. Let's do something for abs. We start, we do something on the floor before we go back to the power tower. So what we do now is we come into a down dog again, right? A nice down dog where our arms are kind of an elongation of our back. Our back is straight, bum is up there. The legs are straight, if we can have them straight. And maybe we can get those heels down onto the floor, but that's not really important, right? If they're not down, they just matter so much because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna shift from the plank pose where everything's nice and engaged into the down dog. A few shifts here. This is a really good exercise for abs, for core in total, or shoulders. We stretch our legs if those legs are straight, right? So this should feel really nice. I really like that one. I I find the down dog so it's a very like relaxing pose. It's, it's challenging in the beginning, but if you do that more often um, and you're able to hold it longer, then it becomes a pose that you like really enjoy doing. Do a few more reps here. And back and forth. Just a few more. I'm gonna read the chat in a, in a sec, guys. And one last time. Back into the down dog. Hold it. Try to bring those heels to the floor. And then walk in and roll slowly up. Woo! Three sets of three is great. Yes. This is, this is hard. It's hard. This is why I like those. Like then you can do less reps and they're like more challenging. Also you have, I think when you do it like this, like you have less momentum because since you have to have your legs pulled in, you cannot like help a bit with your hips with the swing. Oh, yeah, uh, where's it going? Uh, your arms are still. Um, I do work them out, but like what I'm doing is like I do pull-ups, I do dips. Like you just saw the, the pull-ups and I do dips. I do push-ups, a lot of push-ups in exercises. Like the push-ups I mostly, I do them alone as well, but I mostly do them like in compound exercise, but then I do pull-ups and, uh, and dips. This is like what I do, but I, I, I often just use my arms like for, for a lot of things. I don't do a lot of dumbbell workouts sometimes, but not a lot, but I ordered some heavy dumbbells. I hope they'll be here that week so that we can work those too. But yeah, it's mostly like bodyweight exercises, but they're mostly with the power tower, which is very effective. But I do pole dance and the aerial silk. So like, this is why I also like have strength in my arms, I guess, because I, yeah, I use it. I use them in those, uh, in those sports a lot. Do you run once a week? I go for a jog, but just once a week. I don't. I used to like that a lot, but not so much anymore. I prefer riding a bike, like going out, riding bicycles, but like not just riding the bicycle without any, any like uh, any 
goal, any 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 place I want to go. And he said, oh, I want to go to that beach. I want to go to this and that. And then I just go there by bike. So, apt on the power tower. We're gonna do leg tucks. If you if you don't have the power tower, right? If you don't have those handles, um, instead of doing them up there. You could be doing them down here, right? You could be on your back here, your hands either underneath your bum to create that little hole for your lower back so that your lower back is on the floor at all times. Or at your side, if you can keep your lower back on the floor without having your hands there. And then you can do leg lift. When you do those leg lifts, the important thing is that you, yeah, keep that lower back on the floor at all times. And if it's too hard, you could just bend the leg and do them like this, right? If you want to do them up there, do them up there. Usually I would do 20 reps, but since I had like a back pain before, we're just going to start with 10 and we're going to see where that leads us. And then we're going to do some back exercises and then 10 again. And you know, you know the drill. So, you come up here, shoulders down. Legs, uh, you can also tuck your legs if it's too hard to do with straight legs, but then 10 lifts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down. If you have a pull up bar, you might want to hang from it for a moment, maybe even do some shoulder shrugs. And then now we go to the floor and do a little bit something for a bum and or uh, on our back before we do another set of those abs. So come onto the floor here, right onto the floor, onto our belly and uh, right like this. And then we lift one leg up off the floor and pulls it up 10 times, then the other leg, and then both legs for 10 times. So let's go. And yeah, when we do that, think about pulling up with your bum, but also working your lower back, right? And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and both. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> now, up again, and another set of those, or you stay on the floor if you don't have the, the dip bar. And you're going to do the leg lift on the floor again. Don't forget to hydrate. Yes, they're sleeping because it's so hot. Oh, the sweat stains. Yeah, 10 more reps here. Up and down, right? Nice and controlled. And as I said, you could you could do leg tucks instead if the uh, if the leg lifts are too hard here as well. And three, two, one, down. And we come to the floor again to do those leg lifts on the floor to the back. Right, the leg lift to the back. on the floor we don't do the single ones we just do the double ones now pulsing up back and we don't have to count we just do a few so that we train those glutes and the lower back right i hate these exercises but i have to do them more in order to like work on my back Let's do this. A few more. Ten counts. Nine, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, one, and down, cobra, child pose, to compensate for a moment, you feel how the tension is like getting released out of the lower back. Tabletop position. We're going to stretch the tops of our feet while we're here. So we press up on the tops of our feet and maybe this is enough for you. If it's not, you could walk in and be on the tops of your feet here, right? You could even like, if you have something to hold on to, like this. Did you hear? Did you hear? <laughs> my, my, my foot just like me. I don't know if you heard it, but it just cracked. No, but like not. It, no, no bone. It was just like the the joint. I can make them crack like this, like with my like this. So let's do another ten here. Up, shoulders down, and we start lifting those legs up and down, nice and controlled, right? Up and down, and we have five, four, three, two, one. Woo. You love that haters are working out? <laughs> Yeah, that's true. No, but like they like there's like exercises that are hard and that are annoying, but that uh, that are hard and annoying, but that are okay and that you are happy when you do them. But these they just like annoy me. But it's okay. It doesn't matter. Like you don't have to love every exercise. I mean, you can can't possibly to like enjoy something a lot. There's got to be other things that you don't enjoy so much, right? It's always got to be like a balance. So if you would enjoy everything. Overly, you wouldn't be enjoying anything at all in the end. So, we're gonna do that again, the bum lift. Um, I'm gonna put on a timer, so we're gonna try to do that for one minute. I don't know how, how that feels. I haven't done that for a minute in a while, I think, so... Probably gonna be bad, but... No problem, right? So, let's start that minute. No, wait, no, here. Here we go, let's start the minute. And we're pulsing them up. They don't have to be with super high, but I don't want your knees to touch the ground. And while you pulse them up, make that mind-body connection uh, that you don't just lift with your bum, but that you also feel like you're lifting with your lower back, but your lower back is engaged there, pulling up. 20 seconds in. Not so bad at all, right? Almost halfway. And we're halfway. Keep pushing, guys. Woohoo! Up, up, up. Up, up, up. This exercise is very good for your back and your glutes as well, right? And we want to train those glutes as well. And we have 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and down another set of those up moves right oh the jet towel is so wet already what time is it anyway Oh, it's 11.30, so we still got like one hour of working out, so we did here. So, up here on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hang in here. Oh. It's so good to decompress that spine. 
And up. That's a big north breath. It's too wow. Too early. <laughs> it's already already almost noon. <sighs> okay, another minute of those. And then another one of those. And then we're gonna do um, arms again. Then we're gonna do dips. Okay, I'm gonna put on the timer. One minute it is. Are you ready, guys? I hope you are. If you're not ready, you better get ready. Up. And if your pelvis is hurting here, you might want to double fold your mat um, or put a towel underneath your pelvis or a ball or something to like, like a cushion, something to like make it less hard. Keep breathing, guys. Small movements. Keep those legs up there. Push through. This is the last minute with those. And we're halfway through, so it's just 30 seconds to go. And then this exercise, we're done with that exercise for today. We might gonna do some other back exercises, but not this one. So, yeah. Hold set. Up, up, up. And. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, down. You way, you way, you way. Come into the cobra. Pose here for a moment. Looking up, shoulders away from ears. And then. Uh, into child's pose to let go of all the tension in the lower backs. You have to train the lower backs a lot, like our backs especially. With those exercises, we don't do that. Oh, I don't do that often enough. I don't know about you guys, but I keep... I do that and then um, after a while I'm like, oh, I don't feel like doing those no more and I don't. And yeah, I wish we read it. So, last set of that leg lift, of those leg lifts here. And up, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, okay. Um, now, now. Uh, what we do now? What we do now? We do dips. For the dips, uh, you might want to grab the chair again if you don't have those handles. I mean, you can do the dips on the floor, but doing them on the chair is also very handy, right? So with the chair, they're also easier to do. It's a good way to start doing them, to get used to them, or for the re for the rest of the day, you don't want to work so hard, or yeah. So you can do them either like we did them in the warm up, in the warm in the cardio part, like this. Elbows go back though, right? They don't flare out with your legs bent, or with your legs straight, right? Or if you have the pull-up bars, you can do them up on the pull-up bars. Important shoulders away from ears, like no slouching. This is a very unhealthy pose that you don't want. And um, so shoulders down, strong, proud chest, elbows go back, right? They go back, they don't go ah, 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 and they go back, ah, 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 uh -huh, right? Exercise never easy, no, never. If it's too easy, it's too boring. It's not the right, uh, if it's too easy, it's not, not enough work, no. Um, no, it's okay to have sometimes to make an easy session, but yeah. So, 
up here. We're gonna do up. Uh, I'm gonna do them this way around. I don't really care what you do. Uh, you can do your the dips down on the floor. You do them here. If you don't, if you if you have those pull, if you have those bars, the the dip handles, and uh, you make it look easy. Well, just the exercise I know how to do. Um. So I don't know. I don't care if you have your legs like this or like this. And if it's too hard to do the whole thing and you want to do it on those handles, you could do the negative, just like letting yourself down slowly to the floor. And then you go up again, right? The negative is a great way to do exercises, right? It's really good. I enjoy doing negatives a lot. I'm going to try to do five here and then I'm going to do five down there. If you just do them on the chair, do 10 right away maybe. And yeah, or do more, right? You should always adjust the workout to your needs, like I said. So. Let's do this. One. Two. Three. Four. We're going to do three sets again, right? Five. And as you can see, I'm pausing in between when I'm up there, and that's okay. I mean, if you can push through and just like do them fluidly faster that's good too but if you can that's fine that's fine like you have to work with what you've got and you should never push yourself too hard because if you injure yourself in the end you won't be able to push through that's why like i said we're going to do the single like uh the single leg let's let's do the things here uh that's why i told you for example that we want to do the single leg um blue the single leg what and then I started to feel pain in my back and I said, okay, no, we're not going to do them. Well, I'm not going to do them because there's no point in doing something when you know it might hurt yourself. Then do something else or just do an easier version because you want to get stronger and not like, uh, like break down. I wonder when we get those. Where's my cell phone? I want to check if we already have some news on, on the dumbbells. Right. Dumbbell news. Okay. Oh. So. Uh, where is it? There we go. Okay. Let's do the next set, and then I'm checking it bit by bit. So. I'm straight. And. One. Two. Three. Four, really hard. Five. Wow. Five down here. The five down here are so easy then, right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's drink something. Last set after that. And let's check the dumbbells. Even when it comes to your coffee. Uh, nothing new about that <laughs> nothing new maybe i have to contact them and ask about it's so typical i was always i was thinking like maybe the dumbbells right maybe 
maybe on their way to me. They're in Barcelona, they come from Barcelona, I think maybe there. They fell on someone's foot, right? I guess they may, might have fallen on someone's foot because they said there's an incident with your dumbbell, so they might have fallen on someone's foot and that someone maybe is now suing the dumbbells, so they're waiting for trial, I guess, in Barcelona. Then they have to face like a three to four year sentence, um, you know, due to violence. And then they will come to me, I guess. I am, um, this is what I'm assuming happened with the dumbbells, right? I, I would get them a good lawyer, but they haven't contacted me yet, so I can get them one. We'll see. No, I really, I really don't know what happened to them. They just like, they're just like, I don't know. They told me they come on Friday, on, on Thursday actually. And on Thursday, I got a message that say delayed because there's an incident. And I don't know what kind of incident that is. So whatever. Last set of dips. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Ah, oh, no, we have to do these. Five of those. Ah. Uh, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. I'm fell. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's see. I know. I was. I don't. I mean, they will. They will get here at some point. With those heavy packages, it can always happen that they're delayed because people sometimes. I think they might just be too lazy to to pack them. The package is 20 kilograms, so... Okay. Now, guys, we're very close to getting to the floor to work our bum. What we do before we do that, because we're gonna use... We're gonna use ankle weights when we use the dump, when we do bum workout. So, what we do now, we're gonna put on those ankle weights already. Because we're gonna do some ab exercises with the ankle weights, right? Uh -huh. So... <clears throat> Put them on. My ankle weights are one kilogram each. So that's roughly two pounds. 2.2 pounds actually. And yeah. Ah. So, I have four kilograms of additional weights on my legs now. This is like roughly 8.8 .8 pounds. Let's uh, show those arms. Uh, let's do, we're gonna do leg tucks. If you don't have the tower, the tower power, right? The tower power, the power tower. Um, you can do those on the floor here, right? Doing these, right? Totally legit option. Um, African Wonder Woman, yes. Wonder Woman is so cool. I even like, I mean, I, I do like the movies as well, but Wonder Woman was cool, always cool. But like, I do like, Gal Gadot, the, the actress for the, of the Wonder Woman movies. She's so, she's so pretty, isn't she? I mean, Wonder Woman in the comics is cool too, but like in the movies, like Gal Gadot, she's just like, ah. She's so pretty. I think she's one of the actresses that I find most like, 
most, most pretty, most beautiful. So, um, we hang here. If we have a power tower, if we have the um, pull-up bar, right? Legs long, and then we do 10 leg tags. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Definitely old lady by now. Wahoo. Ah, oh, did you know? Um, here, I wanted to... I, I don't know if it was yesterday or these days. I don't know if you know that artist. He's a comic book artist. Um, I heard it yesterday. Um, what's his name? Francisco Ibanez. Bueno, bueno. Did you, do you know, like, it's a, in Spanish it's called uh, Mortadella y Filemon, but in English and German it was called, these comics, they were called Clever and Smart, I think, do you know them? The, the artist, he died. He died. I used to like them a lot. I used to write, read them a lot when I was younger because my dad had a lot of them and my brother, so I read them. And when I got here, like, I bought one in Spanish because I was like, oh, I've got to read them in Spanish too. I like them a lot. They're like so funny. I don't know if you know them. If you, I don't know if people. I, you can speak on the Spanish. Yes, ah. Yo también, yo también. Y la verdad es que no sabía que era español. No lo sabía. Pensaba que era americano o belga o algo así. No lo sabía porque mi padre tenía un montón de de sus cómics y mi hermano y siempre las leía porque las encontraba súper divertido. Y bueno, cuando, cuando venía para acá me daba cuenta de que es, que es español. Sí, yo solo tengo este aquí, los otros tienen mi padre en, en Berlín. Pero so, es un... Everyone who likes comics, they're very funny. These are very funny. And yeah, the, the artist just died. So I just wanted to give him a shout out. He's great. He was great. Sí, qué pena, ¿no? Presents your videos. How do you know so many languages? Is this common in your country? Ah, oh, depends, depends. For some people it might be. Italian comic book? It's not Italian, this is in Spanish. <laughs> um, well, some people do know more language. I just speak English, German and Spanish. So uh, I'm from Germany, but I'm living in Spain. So that's why I speak Spanish. And English, yeah, well, if you if English is not your native language, usually you learn English, so... I, I think, like, in Germany, like, there's a lot of people who... Not a lot, they're, like, quite... A, the people in Germany who get out of Germany, they usually speak more than one language, but there's a lot of people who don't. There's a lot of people who just have no basic terms in English, so... Yeah. Next set, guys, next set. Uh, one. Two. Three, and I myself, I'm a very big fan of other languages. I've always been. So for me, it's like, I'm also, I'm trying to learn Japanese, although I don't speak it at all, but like, I enjoy trying to learn it. And it's so much fun to look into other languages, how they work and how they're different and how, how the language actually reflects the culture, right? How you like, for example, in Japanese, there's so many honorifics and different forms and the Japanese language, for example, is super interesting because it's like so different from the ones we know because they're working a lot with particles and the particles at the end of a word change, like, for example, can change the time or like, or not the, this one, the particle, they change, I, I don't, I'm not going to get into explaining stuff, sorry, I don't want to bore you, but it's so, like, languages are so fascinating. But you see, this sounds difficult. Well, German is difficult, but like, for me not because I'm German, so I learned that when I was a child, like, I, I grew up with that. So, let's get up here, and let's do the last set, and then we move it to the floor, right? So, one, two... 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up. And I think like most languages are not super difficult if you live in that country, you can learn them, but yeah. I wouldn't say that Spanish is easy, depending on the point of view, depending what you knew before. <sighs> so, I'm gonna change the camera, I'm gonna put it down here. So, um... Therefore, I'm going to run an ad break because you won't be seeing me. Don't worry, we'll be training more. Stay tuned. So, maybe you don't even get an ad break because you have YouTube Premium or because you just had one because you just joined. So, yeah. Whee. Got a mask beside me. You better watch out if you're gonna be a broken head of full proxy to be the greatest beast the world has ever seen. I beat him every day like the bones clean. I beat him all the hate and he grows me and he gets caught through a big piss off quick. And if you cross him, you might drop dead. Metaphorically, of course, said to live this horse. There we go, right? More or less. Here we are. So guys, we're gonna do donkey kicks. I'm gonna explain you how to do them. I'm gonna start the timer because you know we need the timer because we're gonna do three exercises on each side. Right? Yes, me too. It's gonna to happen in uh in September. So there we go. First first minute here. I'm gonna explain. Right, so uh, when we do when we do donkey oh I have to change the screen as well. Almost forgot that. Because if not I cannot read the chat. So, so we're gonna do the donkey kicks here um, and yeah when we do the donkey kicks you can either be up here with your wrist underneath your shoulders shoulders away from ears though back is straight or uh, you could be down here with your elbows underneath your shoulders and back is still straight wherever you are it's perfect we're gonna do three uh, exercises on each side and we're gonna do more than one set so I'm gonna cue you in what exactly to do. I'm gonna start up here for today. And two, one, let's go. We're gonna do just a basic donkey kick here. So the foot is flexed, hips are square, and remove that leg up and down, nice and controlled. And yeah, this is it basically. You squeeze that bum when you're up there again. Um, your back is straight, right? Shoulders are away from ears. And we're not turning out, right? We're not turning out or hit as square as we do that. Whew. Up and down. Up and down. Keep pushing, guys. Just a few more seconds, and then we're gonna do the next exercise, which is gonna be a push back. So push back and in, push back and in. Same thing than before. Hip bones are square. We squeeze that bum when we're at our highest point, or leg is um, hip high or even higher. And yeah, hips 
us square. I said that already, but it's very important, right? Because we tend to turn those hips out, but we don't want that because when we do that, then it's still gonna be a workout, but it's not gonna be the workout that we want. Just one more exercise on that side, side after that move. So push through guys, don't give up yet. Let's train that bum. We haven't been training the bum enough lately. I remember us doing like, I don't know, five or six sets of donkey kicks in December. Two, one, on the next one. Keep it up there and pulse up. One minute of pulsing. I know it's hard, I know it burns, but this is what we want, right? We wanna feel that burn. Oh, so bad, I regret that. I regret that now. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. Up, up, up. Keep breathing, make sure your back is straight, make sure those shoulders are away from the ears. And we just have 30 seconds to go, guys. And then we can take a quick break. Yes, so good. Uh, 15 seconds. Up, up, up. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Down. Ah, let's come into a nice puppy pose here. Bum up, shoulders down, chest to the floor. <sighs> oh. Oh, that feels so good. And a child's pose. Ah, you to let go of all the tension in the lower back. Nice. And up. Smile. And I just want to go somewhere where I could just stay inside, where I could just lose my mind, where I could just go. Okay, back into position. We have the other side coming up, right? The other side is coming up. Five, four, three, two, one. Basic donkey kicks here, right? Up and down with that leg. Ah. Up and down, foot is flexed, hip bones are square, and enjoy that. I know it's hard. We did a lot already. We've been working out for two hours or something like that. I guess almost breathe in and out. Yes, exactly. It's important to get oxygen into those muscles. You need that, all the energy. Keep working. <sighs> Up and down, hips are square. Next thing is a pushback coming up in about 10 seconds. And the pushback again. Back is straight. Hips are square and not turned out. We push the leg back and we squeeze the glute when the leg is back there, right? The foot is about hip high. And yeah. Yeah, we need a lot of, well, it depends on like, some people need more, some people need less, but yeah, we need, we do need water. Water is very essential. Especially these days that we're also sweaty. Back and in and back. 20 more seconds and then the pulses. And then one minute of rest and we're gonna do the other side again with some other exercises, but yeah. If you feel that more in the supporting leg, this is totally normal. Let's stay back there and pulse up because the supporting leg is working here. It's working a lot. It's uh, stabilizing us, right? Keeping up all the weight, so don't worry. Feel it more on that leg. Up, up, up. Oh gosh, it's doing so bad. 
Ah, uh, guys, so bad. Oh God. The other side wasn't so bad, but well then, this side was a supporting side before, so I guess it's normal. <laughs> no, I don't guess it's normal, I know it's normal. Just 20 seconds to go, then one minute of rest, and we're back to the first side. Go, 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 yes, go guys. And five, four, three, two, one down child pose ah. hydrate so we hydrate We can take that off actually. We just need it for it's just as important for the cardio session. The rest doesn't really matter. Um now on the next one, I want you to be down here on the back arm. This arm is here on your hand, here on your forearm, and then your hips are turned up. You can see the mirror they turn up, right now down up, and you go in and out here with your hips turned out. Everything is engaged, right? Go. Oh. One and let's go. Back in and back. And you can technically uh you technically don't need that arm, right? You could have it up here. You can put it down for balance purpose, but you don't put weight on it, right? The weight is in the back leg and the back hand. But yeah, you can put it down here for the balance. And then you pull in and push back out. And no need to rush that. And always remember always remember everything is engaged shoulders are away from ears and pull in and push back nice and in and out just a few more seconds then we stay back there and move the leg up and down. So we're back there and up and down, all the way down and all the way up. Still turned out, the foot is pointed. Up and down. Up and down. And this is a super good exercise to train the legs, the glutes, but also for oh, back, right? We're also engaging our back here and our abs, everything is working to keep that position. And up. And up. Up. And down. Up. And down, uh, just a few more seconds, and then the last exercise on this side. And up. And up, and now in, and then out to the side, right? So you can maybe see in the mirror, I'm going like kind of a side circle, so the leg is turning. The, the hips are up, uh, turned out at all times, and then we turn the leg in and out. But we kind of move, making this donkey kick move, but uh, yeah, we're turning so that our shin is like like on the same plane as our thigh when we're up there, right? And the 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 shape of the leg is not changing here, right? We just move the leg from the hip socket. In and up, in and up. Three, two, one. Now let's stay up there and pulse it up for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Quick break. 
Before we do the other side, ride one minute. So sweaty, guys. Um, can you see the sweat drop? I don't know if you see them, but there's sweat drops everywhere. So we're gonna do the other side now. Same thing than before. Um, the the weight is just on one side. You can have the other arm down for balance, but you don't need to. And the hips are this time turned out, so turned up, right? So yeah. yeah. Let's get into the position. Pull on your form here. Here, turn up the hips. Make sure you have enough space, you don't kick the mirror behind you. And again, this arm could be up in the air or somewhere or doing whatever because you don't technically need it. You don't like put any weight on it, but it's okay to put it down for the balance. And do this at your pace, no need to rush anything here. As always, you can choose how you do the exercise, right? And you're supposed, you're even supposed to adjust it to your knee. Um, and another thing about like doing things, for example, slowly instead of doing them fast, they can be harder at times, right? Because then we don't use so much momentum. We have to use strength all the way through. And, uh, you need to make a few phone calls, okay. Zombie caller. <laughs> I'm gonna read the chat in a sec. Okay, guys, let's stay back there. Up and down. Up and down. <laughs> Up and down. This is hard for me to read that right now. Because I'm turned. The other, I'm facing the other way, right? And I don't want to like strain my neck unnaturally. Remember, pull this away from ears. We're not slouching here. And up, in and up, down and up. Right, point that foot, push through just a few seconds, and then the last exercise on that side. And keep breathing. I've got to get through. Am I missing? Okay. Now, the leg is down here and up. We don't change the shape of the leg, right? Ooh. Sweat dripping down. Oh, again. I don't know if you can see that, but I can. <laughs> In and out, guys. Turning here. Oh. I'm probably gonna end the stream today at like 1.50, so 10 minutes earlier than I usually do because um, I have some stuff to do and the train to catch and I have to do some stuff before that, so just, yeah, don't worry, don't so you don't think like, oh, why are we stopping? Okay, Woo. done with that. Hi, Phil, welcome. Welcome, welcome. So, now, you're gonna do side-lying leg lift. Right, side-lying leg lift. So, for that, I'm gonna put a towel down here because I'm so sweaty. And we're coming to the side here, onto the towel, it's already wet by the way. Um, into a comfy position here. We're gonna do a few reps. I think we're gonna do about four minutes on each side, but yeah, let's say, let's see. Hip bones are stacked on top of each other. It's like a 45 degree angle here. And yeah, 10 seconds and we start. Oh. Getting tired already? I don't know. Okay, two, one. And let's do some clamshells. The bottom leg is firmly planted into the floor. And we're just turning up here, right? We're just turning out of the hip socket. We're not rolling back. This is cheating. 
So. But the movement just comes from the hip socket and if it's just a small move, it's okay. And yeah, if you don't have ankle weights, you could be using a booty band here as well, right? Just a booty band around, around your thigh. I wonder if the plumber will come today. I'm just still waiting for the plumber to come to check something in the shower. We have two showers, so it's not so bad that he hasn't come yet, but yeah, I wonder. Because he said he would come on Thursday, he didn't. He said he would come on Friday, he didn't, so... Hmm. Liar, liar, pants on fire, hanging from a telephone wire. Okay, now pull the leg in and push it back. Pull it in and push it back. In and back. Nice and controlled and slow. No need to wiggle here or anything. Ba -da -ba -da. We're gonna do four minutes here. This is the second minute, right? Then one minute of rest, and then we're gonna do all of that on the other side. Ooh, in and out. And you can go back, kind of, when you go back. You don't have to go like straight to that. Like you can go to the back. And even like kind of come forward with your torso if you want to. It's okay. You don't have to, but if you do that, this is totally fine. Now, leg straight to the back and pulse it up and down here. Oh, wow. This burns bad. This burns really bad, but I mean, we've been working out for a long time already, so it's okay if it burns. After that, some ab exercises, some more abs, right? Because abs are super important. And then we stretch, I guess. I mean, I feel like we're not doing enough for a bum these days. You know, I'm feeling kind of bad about that, but we're gonna do more bum stuff once we get the dumbbells, like standing leg and bum stuff. Uh, we still have 15 seconds for that move and then another move before Oh, it's so bad! Guys, it burns so bad. It's gonna burn harder, it's gonna be worse. Like, the last exercise is really gonna get you. Yes, it is. So, 90 degree angle here, 90 degree angle there. And then heels together, knees together. Heels and knees, right? Internal, external rotation and internal rotation of the hip. And this burns bad, I know. I know, this is why I chose it, because uh, I felt like like being a bad girl today. No, no, I think like I felt like we have to do more for our legs, so that's why I chose that. But, and out, and in, and out. Woo! Thank you! And we have still some seconds to go but not so many 10 10 is doable right well we're gonna do something in the end <gasps> we didn't do the pulses on the other side with the donkey kick okay well doesn't matter what we do now leg to the front here and pulse it up for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 ah! And let's switch sides, guys. Hi, Sai. Welcome. Other side. Same exercises, right? We start in that pose where we have a 90 degree angle. I have a 45 degree angle here. Legs one on top of the other. And we're just... Ah, I enjoy it. Oh, I hate the smell. Like, there's something in my bathroom that's like... Um, supposed to like be a supposed to be a good smell it's bamboo it's okay i don't mind it so much i put it in there like for the plumber so it doesn't smell like cat and i hate that it's like it smells so unnatural i hate unnatural smells i'm that kind of person okay and now clamshells just opening up a little bit it smells like someone just like put some perfume in there and i don't like that um 
bottom leg firmly planted into the floor and then remove that upper leg up and down up and down outside up and down just a small move no rolling back right no cheating because rolling back is cheating i rather want you like to have a smaller range of motion than rolling back here my pants are so wet guys my shorts are as wet as i can be all right up and two five four three two one so now the pull in and push back and again like we pull in oh we push back we can lean forward with the torso if you want to and the back like it's not going straight to the back it's like more going diagonally to the back but in and diagonally to the back and if you ever feel like your hand is getting numb or feeling weird you can like also come down all the way like this right which is totally okay Ooh. oh and push. Training those legs. Outside. In. Out. In. And. So I guess tomorrow we're going to do more of a leg workout. Focusing on those legs. What, would, what do you think, guys? Of course we have to, ah, uh, yeah, left leg to the back and pulls it up, pulls it up. Of course you will have to do a pull ups and some abs and exercise, we always do that, you know. But like maybe we focus mainly on leg. I'm uh, doing a lot of leg exercises. Ah, and we have to, we have to train our backs as well. After my back pain today, right, back is, training the back is very important. Although these exercises are also good for our back, by the way, guys, because when we strengthen our bum, our legs and everything, we strengthen our posture. And then, yeah, this is good for our backs. Unbelievable. So the next thing are the knee and foot kisses, right? The ones that burn like hell. So six, five, four three two one and to the front 90 degree angle at the knee and here from our torso and knees together heels together knees together and heels together you're unbelievable and knees heels knees and heels knees and heels oh guys i've got so many many videos to cut still it's crazy by so many not two but one is like pretty long and i think i cannot get started with that before wednesday because today i'm going to the park and tomorrow i have a stream at night in and out in rent credit okay for the update wow that that's like really long okay leg to the front and pulls it up for 10 times 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 oh. okay let, let go of the ankle this is like super long and like it's so mean like if it's if they take so long to take it back because i mean if you pay them later i guess then you always have to like add interest and everything and everything gets more expensive and when it's about giving stuff back then it's not like that which is a shame but well the world is not fair we already we know that right we know that so um i was thinking about do we keep the timer on maybe we do so we keep that timer, come into that position here, one leg out, arm to the side, and then one minute of going down here and up for the side up, for the oblique, right? We're going to the side, or chest is parallel to the front, 
and we're engaging those up. Ah! And you don't have to go so low if it's too hard. One year, it's gonna come to me. Okay, well. So bad. So annoying, all these bureaucracy money things. Oof. Keep pushing. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and just a few more seconds and then we're going to switch side. <laughs> Other side, guys. Switch legs. We're still facing from the parallel. We're like not turning to the side or anything. Just going down to the side. Woo. Yeah, it's such an, so annoying when they're like... Ah, hopefully, hopefully they will like resolve itself now. <laughs> Woohoo! Nice. You're welcome. Down. And up. Just a few more seconds here. 20 exactly. 20 to be exact. And after that, we're going to hold the side plank for one minute and then the other side for one minute. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come into side plank here, right? Elbow underneath, shoulder, shoulder away from ears and up and hold it. This is really good for posture, for obliques. Important is that the shoulders are away from the ears, right? When you notice that you slouch, you can come onto your knees. Because slouching is very bad and it's going to hurt you and you don't want that. You want the shoulders to be away from those ears. Smile, chest is open, right? You could have your arm over here, you can have it up here, here, wherever. But you want this is often more, uh, this is easier sometimes, so if you feel like it's getting too hard, maybe first of all you could like stretch your arm over your head. Almost done guys, almost onto the other side, just 10 more seconds. Two, one, down. On to the other side, elbow underneath your shoulder, shoulders away from ears, feet stacked on top of each other, or maybe not stacked on top of each other if you're on your knees, for example. Um, can be up here, 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 wherever, as long as the chest is parallel. And don't forget to breathe. You need the oxygen, as always, right? Oxygen is important. Just a few more seconds, guys. I don't know how many. Ten, I think. Ten, yes. Push two. Woo. Four, three, two, one. No, I cannot read the count. Down. Okay. Let's turn off, turn off the light. No, not turn off the light. Turn off the counter. Timer. So, almost into the stretching session, guys. Almost, almost, almost. Hydrate. So, now. What we do, we come into a forearm plank, right? You can do the forearm plank with your hands in triangle pose and a swing pose, doesn't really matter. The important thing is like to be actually in a, in a plank and not in a weird kind of down dog or something where your bum is up or with your bum hanging down and arching your back. You want everything to be engaged, right? So let's come into that forearm plank here. And you're not up here. Not down here, you're here. Just holding that. I'm not gonna hold it for so long, so don't worry. 
I just want to feel that a little bit. Forearm planks are great exercise for everything again, like it's a full body exercise. It's so good for your posture, for your abs, uh, for your shoulders. Even your bum is getting a work out here and your legs as well. And let's stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And down, circle your shoulders, move your head or your shoulders from side to side for a moment. And don't worry, don't worry, we're not done yet, but we're close to being done. I want to do some more exercises for the back, so we're going to do some uh, bird dog or actually like not maybe not the whole bird dog thing but we're going to do the bird dog pulses so we come into a tabletop position and then we lift one leg to the back and the opposite arm to the front and we pulse up for 10 times 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> I feel like we should be doing that for a longer period of time. So we're gonna put on the um, timer again. Oh, we're not gonna put on the timer. I'm just gonna use my cell phone actually. Where is it? Where's my cell phone? It's up here. It's up here. Oh, yeah. So we're going to do that for one minute and I'm not going to put on the timer because yeah, why? So you're ready, guys. Pulsing up on one side for one minute. Let's go and up there. This is a really good exercise for our back, for our posture and for our bum. Also, our core is getting work here like everything's getting work. Shoulders away from ears and pulse up. Very gently pulsing up here. Smile. Don't forget to breathe. Halfway through. Up, up, up. Twenty seconds to go. Then a quick rest, and then the other side. Once you get the hang of the movement, don't crane your neck to see me, but just do the exercise, right? Um, five, four, three, two, one. And we're done. We got the other side, but yeah, let's take a quick rest here. A quick breather. After that, we're going to try to do those Hindu push-ups again. Let's see if they work for me today. And then we stretch, guys. Oh, well, we do the Hindu push-ups, maybe the right grip push-ups, and then we stretch, right? Would be too easy if we wouldn't. I do the right grip push-ups. So, uh, with what side did I do right now? I did this one, yes? Yeah, yeah. Okay, other side, guys. What, pigeon pose? We're gonna do the pigeon pose later, but in the stretching part. Pigeon pulse. <laughs> yeah, first of all, we're going the Hindu push ups and the white group push ups. Hi, Rob, welcome. We're still in the workout part. Let's do this. Opposite arm and opposite leg, other side now. Shoulders away from ears, and we're pulsing up. Sorry. No, everything good. No problem. I was just wondering. Pull up. up. Push two, guys. Good exercise for posture for the back. 
And 30 seconds to go. Don't stop now. Don't stop me now. Is it a song as well? I don't know. And 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whew. Shake it out. And, oh, I have to get something new to drink, but I'm going to do that afterwards, right, in a second. After we're done, I won't, before we start, my brain tick 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 now like when it ha that happens I hear that like you know that windows powering down sound in my head would be so fun to have like a, oh have like a command to make that sound but well I couldn't do it from here right because I don't have a I don't have a um, stream deck and even if I had one it would be up there okay uh yeah my brain is, isn't working either so um what we do now be Hindu push-ups. If you don't know how to do Hindu push-ups, you might want to do normal push-ups first because the Hindu push-ups, they're not so easy, right? But yeah, they're good. Let's see if I can do three. I don't know. We will find out today. We did three the other day, but yeah, today is my fasting day, as you guys may know. And yeah, so I'm not, I'm not, I don't have so much power. No. Um, so, we're up here in a down dog, right? Adjust everything. Ah, I have to get, wait, I have to get my hair out of the way because I remember that, that one day that we did them, I, my hair got caught up. So, if your hair is long and in the way, get it out of the way for this one. So, um, we're here in the down dog. And then to do the Hindu push-ups. Right from the down dog. Tomorrow might miss your stream. Okay. Okay. No problem. Don't worry about it. There's more streams to come. And we come on to the forearms up here. And down and back. <sighs> Again. Two. And three. <laughs> 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 okay, something, something was off there, but never mind. I have dry eyes and cat hair in my eyes. I have to put some polidios in there. So, now, next, potato, yes, potato. Me and a friend, we call ourselves the flying potatoes, la patata volantes, when we do like acrobatic stuff. So, because we don't do it very gracefully, we do it like more like patatas, like potatoes. We do five reps of a white grip push-up, right? Right, grip push up. Not five. Did I say five reps? We're gonna do ten. Obviously, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, how I hate those. But well, we're done. So guys, uh, we made it to the stretching part, right? I always feel like we don't work it out enough, but I think we do. No, I don't, I know, I know you don't mean that one. So, I'm gonna run an ad break. I'm gonna get myself something to drink and then I'll be back. And we'll be stretching. So, see you in a sec, guys. Get some something to um, drink. I'm the type of dude who could really make changes. Cause I'm
I'm the type of dude that's becoming contagious. I'm the type of dude. Next time I'm using Spectrum in the car, man. Mounties back too. Ah, there we go. Victory is perfect. Perfect. So. Oh, Melty. You're angry because like you don't have fresh water? Well, I'm angry because you peed next to the toilet. Mounty comes, then comes to the house. Very good. Marty will trinken, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, there we go. And there we go. Marty. Fresh water for Marty. Ja, alles fein, das ist alles schön, diese Maus hier hat Durst, das ist wichtig. So. Marci, du bist ein wichtigster Sänger. Du könntest auch ein bisschen mehr als deinen Schwanz und deinen Po zeigen. Aber von dir ist natürlich alles schön anzusehen. Okay. Good morning, Ramsey. Welcome. So we start. We start with some nice exercises. Oh yeah, and let's. Für mehr ist die Welt noch nicht bereit, ja wahrscheinlich. I'm gonna grab the ball and put it back here.
And then let's put the camera a bit back because we're going to do some down dark things and we need a bit more. We need to see. Thank you for the follows, guys. Thank you so much. There we go. Hi Walter, welcome. So, what we do now guys, what we do now, we come into a down dog. All right, in a down dog, all arms are aligned with our upper body, with our back. We try to Straighten the legs and bring the heels to the floor, but if we don't quite get there, that's okay too. And what we do now, we're going to do five reps on each side, lifting that leg up and then bringing it in and back out. This is one. Two. Three. Four, five, and we do the other side. Ta -da. And you're smoking. Uh, what? You're smoking a bar with the trying to use. Ah, uh, Simba. Simba. Like a lot of cats are called Simba. Selena's cat is called Simba too. A ball. Yeah, I was wondering, a ball. <laughs> and up, other side. One, two, three, four, five. Let's put Marzi's water back here, so it's not in the way. And now we're going to be in the down dog. And we're going to lift one leg up into the air as high as we can. Right? So we're here. We're lifting one leg up, straight to the back, right? Straight, 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 as long as we can. And when we feel like we cannot go any higher with a straight leg, we're turning out to open up wider. And then down. And the other side. Same thing here. And down and since we have the cam on that nice angle we're gonna do that crow pose to handstand thing once right that we did on Friday and then I'm gonna change the cam back but I have to I have to change my hair so I can do a headstand so we come into a crow pose from there into a headstand and then back into the crow pose so I'm not going to talk a lot while doing that to keep breathing properly. Circle those wrists. And now I'm going to get the cam closer again. And we're going to start with the normal stretching.
You had just had water. You just had your water. You're so greedy. Greedy baby, needy baby. Okay. Um, if we have a band, let's grab that band, right? And then we come here onto a back. And like I said, if we have a band, we could put that band around the foot. And um, first of all, I'm going to move a bit to the front here, like that, right? We can pull like here, in here. And with a band it's easier, but you could also be using a towel or something else that you could just be holding your thigh or your calf, right? If you have the band, you could like even even be uh, putting this around your shoulders, by the way. Like if you're super lazy and you don't want to hold on to anything, you put the band around your shoulders and then you go like this. But then, yeah, you probably have to be pretty flexible. Hola, Alex, que tal? Huh? Get, get it here. And maybe you want to extend that other leg. And like that, you won't be needing, you won't be needing your hands. Point the foot, maybe. Get that leg. Run that. And if you want to, maybe you could even like bring the leg to the side. You could either hold it or if you have the bands around your shoulder, keep those around your shoulder. And back up. How are you doing, Dynasty? Welcome. Uh, and slowly let go here Wait. and let's do the other side oh Mouty wants to leave do you want to leave Mouty? wait I have to open the door for Mouty Uh, let's do the other side. What's that? Is that Aquarius? Ah, oh, no, it's on my eyes. Okay, okay. I see. I see. <laughs> I was wondering, what is that? Did the cat see there? No, she did not. Uh, other side. So we grab that leg. We grab that, that, that band, put it around the foot. And pull in here, right? If we can. If you don't have a band or if you don't have a towel or something, you can hold your thigh. And pull in. And again, for the ones who like... I don't even know if it's like if you're feeling lazy and you don't want to hold the band or if it's like even because it's pulling harder on your it's it's it's, a, it's more difficult actually so i don't even know if you could say that if you're going to be lazier when you do that uh around those shoulders the band and up Whee. like that um you could extend the back line pointing man this is a really strong pull. And if you want to move it to the side. And back to the middle. Go. Ah. And I think on Friday we didn't do the splits, like the side splits, so we're probably gonna work those 
more today, but before we do that, we're gonna straddle a bit. Vamos a hacer un poquito de straddling aquí. So, leg wide here, right? Like this. Um, your hands behind your back if you're a beginner to push yourself to the front. And if your legs have to be like closer in, that's okay. If it's like a 90 degree angle or something, that's totally fine too. No need to open it up too wide. And then you push to the front with a straight back, leading with your chest, so never leading with your head. And if you're more flexible, maybe you're even here in front with your hands on the floor and you pull it up and down here, right? But this is just for the advanced one, so you can also advance here. We're just gonna straddle work for a quick time. We're just gonna straddle more later on, I guess. Um, but yeah, what we do now, what we do after that is trying to get into the side splits because it didn't work that on Friday, I guess. I think, I think, I'm not sure, but I think we didn't. If you are feeling comfy here, maybe come down all the way onto your forearm with a straight back pull, right? You can see in the mirror that I have a straight back. If you're here like with a round back like this, no, then I want you to be up here and push into the front. Right. If you feel like taking it up a notch, come as close as you can to the floor with that chest. Maybe even all the way. <laughs> Dancing a little bit. Oh, yeah. oh. And up. Uh, do you have mosquitoes in Italy? I don't know. I'm not in Italy. I'm in Spain. <laughs> I'm in Spain, but yeah, we do have mosquitoes here, if that's what you're asking. But I always felt like there were more in Germany than here. Stop. Gotta adjust that here. Wait a second. Um. Now. We come into deep lunge. <laughs> right into a deep lunge. If you're a beginner, you might be here, which is totally fine, right? No need to be further down. But if you are more flexible without turning your hips too much, without opening up your hips too much, opening up your hips, yes, but like not twisting them, um, you might get like a more or less straight line from knee to knee. And you're pushing to the front here. And what I want you to feel is a pull or a stretch in that hamstring of the back leg, in that quad of the back leg and the hamstring of the front leg. So the hamstring is the back muscle of the leg and the quad is the front muscle. So we're in Italy, yeah, I'm Spain. No, no, I'm in Spain. I'm in Spain. And push down. I was wondering because you were saying something about Italy before and I was like, Oh, what does he mean? I wasn't sure. But yeah, I'm in Spain. Pulling down. If you can, guys, if you can and want to, you could put those hands on the front leg here and push down further. Pushing down, pushing down. Hold that for a moment. And that down. And down. And we switch sides. Uh, same thing here. If you're a beginner, you might not be as open. Might be everything more like a 90 degree angle. If you're more advanced, there might be almost a straight line from knee to knee. And you're pushing down here. Enjoying the stretch. Oh yeah. Feels good. 
Yeah, and don't forget to leave your like and hit hit like and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much, guys, for being here and supporting me. Anything helps. Let's come up here. Hands on that knee and push. Bouncing a bit, pulsing a bit. And lean back and hold it. Wait, make sure not to fall. Some one side might be harder to hold than the other. And down. Switch side skin. Lift that back leg. Grab it with the opposite arm, right? With the opposite arm. And down here. Feeling a nice stretch in the quad of the back leg. Back here. So now we have that front leg straight. The other leg is bent. Point the foot. Point the foot. Lean forward with a more or less straight back if you can. Feeling a nice stretch in the quad now here. In the quad, in the hamstring now. Why keep I, why am I keeping why do I keep mixing those up? And then you can like turn the leg up here. That leg back, right, turn that, you move your bum up and then you go down here if you can, trying to bring the chest towards the floor, feeling a nice stretch in your side body and in the hamstring and the inner thigh of that leg. And up. In, let's do the other side. So, other leg to the front. You bend that back leg, grab that heel, pull it. Feeling a stretch in the quad front part of the back leg, of the back thigh. Let go, and let's go back here. Back leg is bent, front leg is straight. Now point the foot, come to the front with a straight back when you can, if you can. Turn to the front, turn to the front here, and down, bum stays up there. Test as close to the floor as you can. Feeling a nice stretch in your side body and in the hamstring and the inner thigh of the leg that's right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, it feels so good, right? And up. Uh. My face is itching because of the cat hair. Cat hair everywhere. So, so. Other leg in front again, right? Keep switching here. And now we're trying to bring our forearms and the back leg as close to the floor as we can, but this is, might be pretty advanced. So maybe this is not for you. If you cannot do that, don't worry. Just stick with what you can do. Just stay in a normal deep lunge. Hold it.
Oh. Now, if you can bring that elbow, bring that shoulder underneath that knee, up, and then you can maybe straighten that leg into kind of a fake split. Maybe come closer to the floor, pull that other leg up. And this is pretty advanced. And if you want to, you could even like pick it up a notch and grab that heel. That heel, that ankle with the opposite arm. Right? Like this. <laughs> and down. And let's switch sides. I'm gonna turn to that side now because if I do it on that side, you're not gonna see anything. So, other leg goes to the front. Other leg goes to the front. And we try to bring the back leg and the our forearms to the floor. And again, this is pretty advanced, so you might not want to do it. You can just stick with a normal knee plunge instead. My nail polish is coming off again. Although I think I did it the day before yesterday, but yeah, I'm just I'm just not good with those kind of things. So now, more advanced, even bring that elbow underneath the leg down and try to extend that leg if you can. And maybe the other one up like this or grab that heel, that heel again, I'm saying heel again, that ankle with the opposite arm pulling that up into the nice fake split and down let go Woo. and yeah now yes it's so good this is like really really nice there's a video coming up later this afternoon with uh, these moves with the advanced leg stretches for everyone who wants to take a closer look um the side splits we're gonna try to get into the side splits therefore we're gonna take some yoga block so it's gonna be easier to slide out right to slide out um i'm gonna put i'm gonna use the other yoga mat because this one is always kind of it's kind of sticky and then i hurt my knee thick also so if you have a yoga mat that's better for doing splits, go grab it. If not, doesn't doesn't matter. Okay, what we do, we want to slide out into the split and we want to hold it for one minute, um, about one minute. Why? Just so that we're down there for quite a while. That's so that we're down there for a little bit. So grab those yoga blocks to give you support so that you don't turn your hips out too much. And then we start in a half split position like this and we slide out, right? So I'm going to start the timer now and let's slide out bit by bit. Yeah, the blocks are really, they're, they're really good for, they're really good for splitting so that we don't twist our hips too much. As you can see, I'm pretty high up still, but this is okay for the first minute. The first minute is just to get like, Get the feeling to open up those hips a little bit, maybe a little bit more. Hold it. We still have about 20 seconds left here. You could even like let go of the block on one side and then come to the front here. And 
and then back to the middle for the last second before we do the other side. And there go. And step. Re reset the timer. And we gotta do the other side. And then the first side again. And yeah, you know, keep changing, changing. Changes. Changes. So, other side. Sliding out into that split. Ah. Oh. Well, or like maybe not yet into the split, but sliding out to get into the split soon. Gummy. All that. Maybe you can come to one side here, rolling your hips to the floor a little bit. Right. And back to the middle. On, On that side. Let's set. Whew. And in again. Stop the timer. We set it. I go to do three more reps as full as when you're resting. What do you mean by that? You mean on rest days or what? These are when I'm resting, I'm resting, but I do pull ups like not every day, but almost every day. And today, later on, I'm gonna be in the park. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be doing more stuff. I'm gonna do six in the park at Parbatic. So I'll be using my arms further. So, uh, next, next up. This is the second one, right? Yeah, the second side. And uh, the second set on the first side. The yoga blocks are really nice to stay in the middle to not twist those hips. Because we tend to twist our hips when we do this. Bounce a little bit, maybe. For the last 15 seconds. Yes, this is great. Although a bit hard. But well, this is like... With splitting, it's like... It's it's a feeling in between feeling good and feeling... Ah. Uh, like, at least when you're like trying to improve your split. Okay, we're done with that set. We're not maybe... Maybe we're not done with the set. We're done with that set. On that side. We still have the other side to go. So. Other side coming up. Other side coming. Okay. And let's slide out here. Maybe we have to flip those blocks that were closer to the floor while still in the middle. Right? It's like the important thing. I'm trying like to not twist to stay more or less in the middle. I'm basically on the floor here. So the next set I'm gonna put away the blocks. Oh yeah, the bouncing. The, the, the bounce, bounce, the, the bounce. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah! Oh! Okay. 
One last set on each side, this time without yoga blocks. You ready? If you're not ready, then you're not, and I'm going to do it alone. to the middle stretching the right part because it was kind of twisted now and I'm back to un at untwisted a bit now 20 more seconds oh. oh guys it's hard it's hard but I can do it I can hold it it's just not even 10 seconds to go Woo! And three, two, one. Ah! Ah! The other side, then we switch. Gracias. The other side, and then we're gonna switch up the exercises. Then we're gonna use the ball a little bit to let go of all the tension, and then to stretch. So. Guys, other side, one minute. <sighs> like a fly oh, peaches are so nice. It's peach time here in Spain now. The peaches are pretty, it's pretty cheap right now to buy. That's so nice. <laughs> Ten seconds, guys. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, done. Ah, ah. Uh, let's change mats again. Good morning, Maya. Welcome. How are you doing? So. There we go. You're welcome, you're welcome, guys. So, for the next exercises, we're gonna use the ball. We're gonna use the ball. First of all, we're gonna use the ball to just like, uh, <sighs> give our lower back some time to like, enjoy itself. So, we come onto that enter that ball if we have the ball if you don't have a ball yeah just take a break you come to the ball and then for the moment we just like roll back and forth here kind of giving ourselves a massage with the ball Ah. 
Ah. Back and forth. Oh yeah, it's always so nice. Well, so now make sure that your pelvis um, and your lower back are like more or less on top of the ball and then bounce a little bit, right? To let go of the tension. But yeah, make sure that your lower back is, uh, is on the ball because if it's not, then it might hurt. Yeah, workout ball is great. Bounce. To let go of all that tension and then if you can you can come onto your elbows here ah, and back and forth on the elbows for a moment ah it feels so nice right it's so relaxing ah, stay here And down, push. And one more move with the ball. No, actually more moves with the ball, but one more. Oh, that's like just relaxing. So we come onto the ball with our back. And we roll over a bit. And uh, just bounce now with the leg, with our arms out here. Try to give those shoulders a good stretch. Open up the chest. Ah, oh. oh, so good. I really feel it in my shoulders and my shoulders. There were where my shoulders meet my meet my chest. Actually, so nice. Ah, oh, and stay here for a moment. Breathe in and out. Maybe stay in your legs for a moment. And then come back onto the floor here. The ball can be still behind you. You're on your tippy toes now, leaning back, hands together, feeling a nice stretch in the shoulders again in your back. Bouncing always kind of loose, yeah, but bounce carefully, right? I don't want to be. And let's go. Hi, Petula, welcome. Whew. Sit on your back and press it up. This is nice too, right? Maybe you can bring your those heels to the floor. Oh, lean back on the ball. Press into it a bit. Press it back. And up, up. So, um, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break again. Sorry. I'll be right back. Um, and then we're gonna do some more leg stretches. So, see you in a minute. Right? Don't run away. I'm gonna put fabric on. You won't miss anything. I'll be here, and then we'll keep on stretching. Maybe you don't even get an address. That one.
Now, ah, the ball still here, right? The ball is still here. Um, we put one leg on the ball, and just one, right? Just one leg. And then we pull the other leg in. Pulling it in a little bit. Then up there. Pulling. Hold it straight here. Ah, so good. And now bend the leg. And try to bring it to the floor. Maybe you can, maybe you cannot. If you cannot bring it to the floor, this is for you stay at. This is what you keep trying to bring it to the floor, right? If you can bring it to the floor, have it at your side here on the floor. And um, maybe you can even bring it behind your shoulder, which would be like the next step if you're more flexible. Like that. Grab it with your other arm, the ankle again, here with the uh, opposite arm. And try to straighten the leg. And you could have this like, other arm here or here to hold it down. And then bring that ball in and roll it out. In and out. In and out. Hold it. Ah, let go. This is really hard. This is really advanced. So if you're not so advanced, you just stick with trying to bring that leg to the floor, which is totally fine, right? We all have a different level of flexibility. Let's do the other side. Here. Other leg up there. All right, other legs up there. You pull that knee in first. Pulling that knee in gently. And then you can straighten the leg. Point it and pull. Ooh. Bend it. And try to bring it towards the floor. And if you cannot bring it towards the floor, you stick with that exercise, trying to bring it to the floor. If you can have it on the floor, hold it there for a moment. And then, if you want to take it up a notch, try to bring that leg behind your shoulder. Okay. Oop. Oop. Hold it down there. With the opposite arm, grab the ankle, straighten the leg, and then move that ball with the other leg in and out. And on the next one, stay there and hold it. Ah, and let go. This was really advanced, guys, right? So you don't have to do those exercises if you're not so flexible, right? No need. You'll just stick with the easy ones. <laughs> Hi, level girls. Good morning. Nice to see you. So, away with that ball, right? We don't need that ball no more. Um, and yeah, we still have about 15 minutes to go, right? About 15 minutes. Because today I have to finish a bit earlier because, uh, yeah, I have some stuff to do. Stuff to do. So. What do we do? What should we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor? <laughs> um, what we do. We do more hip opening exercises. So this might again be too advanced for you. So if this is too advanced, uh, you could just have your legs like this, hands behind you, right? The easy, the exercise would be like this. Try to straighten those legs. Straighten like this, right? Just 
pull this down, by the way. I had them. Right? If you feel like this is too easy and you want to take it up a notch, then you bring that leg on top of the forearm here. The other leg stays down and you're here like this. And then you try to straighten that leg here, right? Which is way harder. And I have to adjust a little bit. Ah. And it's it's super hard with me when I, while I'm so sweaty because it's kind of sticking. My arm and my leg are like so sticky. Up. Up. And up. Uh, yes, and I'm getting more flexible. And now, advanced. Even more advanced, we come onto the tippy toe here and straighten that leg, so. One. Two. Three. Ah, but is, this is really hard. Other side, again, if you're not so flexible, you're here. Here, and you're straightening one leg, and then the other. One, and the other. If you want to take it up a notch, let's do this. So, right here. And straight. As you can see, I'm not really getting the leg all the way up. But I'm working on that. Bit by bit. Woo! And up. And up. Now, three times up on the tippy toes here. One, two, I was on tippy toes, doesn't matter. And three. Ah, and down. Ah! Woo! Let's do something easier for the moment. So, something everyone can do. Bring your soul, the soles of your feet together. Hold them. Straight back, proud chest. Flap those arms and those legs down. And if you're up here because you're a beginner, totally normal, totally fine. Hold down. Yeah, guys, don't forget to leave your like and subscribe. Ah, oh, move from side to side. Yes, butterfly. Now, yeah. one leg stays down here. Maybe you can grab one heel and straighten the leg. Other side. Good. And maybe you can grab both, but if this is too hard, just take a break. Whee. Thank you. Just holding it. Whee. And back down. And let's drink something. I'm so thirsty. Yeah, this was easy for me. This is true. So we straddle again here, right? We've just been straddling before. We straddle again. Feet wide. Hands behind our back. And we pull, push to the front with a straight back. Yeah, stretching is always good. If you cannot come to the front with a straight back, you stay back here doing that. If you can come to the front with a straight back, you can come to the front again. And you're always leading with your chest. If you move to the front, your bum is kind of rolling up and your hips are curling down, right? And don't forget to breathe. Even if we're stretching, we're not supposed like, to hold our breath. And we're supposed to keep. Front, hold it. Maybe come onto your forearm. Or if you can, all the way down. Ugh. 
up again. Hi, Scott. Good day. Move from side to side. Now you don't have to go super low. Make sure that you're facing forward all the time. So your chest is parallel to the front. You're not turning. Moving from side to side. So tomorrow, guys, we're going to probably be doing a leg day, I think. But of course, arms and abs will always be part of our training. Our... If you get closer to that leg with each time you're changing sides, perfect. If you don't, don't worry about it too much. Uh, flexibility takes time and yeah. You should give yourself that time because if you don't, you injure yourself and then you're not gonna advance at all. So you always listen to your body, right? It's important to listen to our body. Your body usually tells us what's good for us. Well, not always, obviously, like with sweets and drugs and other stuff, our body tells us, wow, this feels so good. Although it's not like you drink a lot of alcohol and your body tells you like, oh, I'm feeling so free. But yeah, it's actually not good for you. But like when you're doing sports, usually your body tells you. Um, also, sometimes your body might say, "Don't do that," because it's lazy. But yeah, you have to you have to listen closely and to feel closely, and then you'll be able to like um, make the difference okay? to 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 notice the difference in between when your body is just like trying like not to do something because you're lazy, or if it's because you shouldn't be doing something actually. And if you have more doubts, just talk to a physician or a prof as a professional physiotherapist. Let's stay on that side here. Ah, so good. And to the other side. <laughs> Let's grab the yoga blocks if you have them. If you don't, no problem. You don't actually need them. You could be, you missed the whole workout. Well, no, no problem. Wait for another workout tomorrow and you can always rewatch it. So, out, out here. Uh, if you don't have yoga blocks, like I said, no problem. It's totally fine to do that without the yoga blocks. Point those feet to the front here. And up and down. Come to your onto your forearms here. Dancing. Over here. And if you cannot do that with your leg with the straight back, you're back here with your arms, right? So let's Put those a bit further out here so that we can get a more. Like that. But actually, it's not a perfect split, it's just an illusion. I don't have a perfect middle split, but it looks good anyway. It looks as if I had one, but it's not. If you see it from up here, you would see that I'm not in a middle split. Uh, move to the front. Roll your bum up and your hips down. Oh, yeah. Hold it. Come on to turn to your forearms here. Hold it. And then up here. Come up onto your push up, down, and down. Ah, legs in. Ah, and yeah, guys, for today we're almost done. We're going to do the pigeon pose. The pigeon pose. Ah, and the crow pose. 
and the plow pose. First the plow pose, then the pigeon pose, and then we're done. Because today, like I said, I have to finish early because I have stuff to do. So, come onto your backs. Hands sent to the floor. Legs come up here. And then you roll them over. Like, over. You, and maybe this is your maximum. Or maybe you can even bring the heels to the floor. And the heels, the heels not be close to the floor. And then shifting your hips from side to side here. Oh, this feels so good for me. I don't know if it's good for you. If it's not, don't do it. But I love the music. Oh. Other side. Oh. You can even bring your arms in. Bend those legs. And roll back. Pigeon pose. So we come into down dog first, right? Into down dog. Ah, pressing everything up here. Shoulders down. Oh. Then lift one heel or one leg off the floor. Bring it in between the arms. Look up. Press your palms into the floor. Shoulders down. Pigeon pose. If you can. Grab that back heel, a back leg. The heel, actually, you're not grabbing the heel, you're grabbing the foot. Let go. Back up into the down dog and the other way, the other way, the other side. Down. And if you can, grab that back foot and hold it. Let go. Back up. The front, sit in a comfy position. Uh, let's stretch our shoulders. So we bring those hands together behind our back. We pull our arms up. Lean forward, maybe moving those shoulders from side to side. Mm. Down. Other side. Ah. Over our head. Ah. Rotate your head gently. One side to the other. Um, last thing, if you can, maybe have your leg, hands like this, or if you can, grab them, grab them. Of course, you can hold any stretch as long as you like. After this session, you either replay the stream and just pause it in the right moments, or you just do them on your own. Other side. So nice. And yeah, um, thank you so much, everyone, for always being here and supporting me in my content, for leaving a like and a comment and watching. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be where I am without you. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Kisses for everyone. And see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Have a beautiful Monday and a beautiful weekend. Yeah, I hopefully see you tomorrow and take care. Bye. Doo -doo. Da 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 da. You're the.